Good morning, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This, or should I say Happy Yule, because as this is December the 21st. On the winter solstice, the Vikings celebrated a holiday called Yule. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> anyway, so. Anyway. Okay, so should we drum roll? Yep. Go. <laughs> so folks, oops. We got As some, I'm we sure got some news. You, we've got news. As I, I'm sure you've heard, the new season for the Netflix for the Netflix series Love on the Spectrum in the U.S. Season. Uh, season two. Duh. Is dropping on January 19th. And I don't know if you remember, maybe it was a year ago or more. We yeah. did a Car Rides with Connor called, and our episode was called Tweet Tweet. Yeah. And in that episode, we talked about Connor's little brother... What's his Jack. name? Jack. Jack. Um, tweeted the director of Love on the Spectrum. Yeah. And said, um, think we know a pretty cool dude here in Metro Atlanta. Yeah. Who's that cool dude? Yours truly. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so at first it was a total giggle, right? It was kind of funny. Yeah. And want to talk about your experience now? Because... Well, I, I was a bit star, nervous. Yep. Nervous um, from the start and a... Uh, we started with some Zoom calls. Yeah. And um And the first Zoom was with Um it was with um this this girl Jessie. Yeah. Was it you? Let's see. I don't I don't remember her name, sorry. Um but she was a producer and she lived yeah. in In Australia. So cool. Yeah. And so we, we made it through that round. Yeah. Or you did, not me. Yeah, I didn't do I anything. Did. But anyway. I'm just then, here for the party. Then I met at the direct Victor Kean, who's from Sydney. Who in that episode I kept wanting to call Sion. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, so go on, tell your story. Man. Anyway, it's fabulous. Well, don't hold out. Well, they the crew came, did some interview. Who's, who's what? Who's long story short? I went on some day dates. And up uh, the TBD. Up. Uh, got to tune in. You got to tune in. But he made it on the show is the point. Yep. And the official trailer went out yesterday, which we were excited about. Mm -hmm. And the opening, actually the opening clip is a pretty darn good looking guy I know. Yeah. How are you feeling about it all? Oh. You want to talk about that? I'm still feeling a bit nervous, but... Can I can I ask why you're nervous? Well, I mean, I've never been on TV, TV before. Mm -hmm. What are some of your concerns? Things that worry you? <sighs> that I might... might uh, I don't know, maybe that I might look silly or something. It's genuine concern. Okay. I have it too. Yeah. You know, what are we going to look like? But the one reason, the really the big reason that we did this is, oh my gosh, are we recording? Don't touch it. Oh gosh, sorry, I shut that off. Sorry, my bad. One of the real reasons we did all this. Yes. It's um, was because we trust Kian. Yes. And we felt like he was just such a stand-up guy. Yeah. And he would portray you in a in a dignified way. Yes. Indeed. So you're feeling nervous. How else are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, it's also new. I mean, a lot of people who might see it and even it pass me by and be all, all hey, look, look, isn't that the guy from, from Love on the Spectrum? I don't, it, it, it could, and I'm sure it's a, it's a huge show, um, but, you know, like I said, I don't, I yeah. don't think you're going to be on the red carpets getting, you know, chased by paps through the streets. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we all know, oh, the tragedy of Princess Diana. Yes, I don't think we're, you'll be at that level at all. Not like you're not fabulous, because... 
you are. Yeah. And also, there's another little budding star in the car who got pride of place. And here she is. Come on, Cokie, don't be shy. Come on. Connor's little sidekick. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, yes. There she is. Isn't she magnificent? <laughs> she Thanks. is. But, so, we've got that. That's exciting news. And just in time for Christmas. So, yeah. we're very excited. And now, we're in our Christmas preparations, aren't we, Connor? Yes, we are. Just want to talk about what you're looking forward to this season? Well... I'm home. Well, what I'm looking forward to mostly uh, is, is uh, well, our annual little Christmas Eve party. This time we'll be having a lot, lot of people over. It's like an open house. Yeah. We're excited. We put out food, mm -hmm. drinks. Yep. And then there's always something that people come for. No pressure. Beer? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I mean, no, you donut. Ah, uh, yes. What is it? It's, uh, Don't be coy. Uh, my, my annual Christmas Eve toast. Yes. It's become a tradition. It is a tradition. This year, though, like, I want you to think about it. You always do it on the, on the fly, and they're getting shorter and shorter. I think, I personally think if you give some time to reflect and maybe give out some great in-depth thoughts or ponderings for us for 2024, because you're so full of those. Yeah. You know, it's a gift, man. Not everybody's as deep as you are. Mm -hmm. So you got to share it with those of us who are not. Yeah. So we got Christmas Eve. I... I'm looking forward to Auntie Jackie's peppermint cake. I'm looking forward to the pasta and meatballs she always serves. That's true. We, we have a different family tradition. We abandon any sort of big turkey meal and all that jazz. Yeah, I mean, turkey and ham, that just, just takes too long. Not like that. We just had a big Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, yeah. Who wants to do all that? I mean, a that? Christmas tur turkey, I'm sure that's probably a big thing in some parts of the world. That don't have Thanksgiving, but we have Thanksgiving. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah, so we just got done doing all that noise. Yeah, I actually... We yeah, need a break. Yeah. And we want to have Christmas fun. Yeah, but whenever I think Christmas, I always... I try to imagine that a family relaxing in a log cabin in the middle of a snow-covered forest. Just, just, the men are all, all out, out hunting for the Christmas feast. They probably come back, back with... A goose, a turkey, a boar, or, or, or maybe. Yeah. Who's eating any of that? It's all gamey and chewy. And who, number one, who's who's gonna pluck the feathers or what? That do whatever you got to do to this what, thing. That, that's a tradition. I'm sure a lot of people out west do it. Where, like in California? Uh, no, like uh, probably Nebraska. Oh, no, no, no. They don't probably. have supermarkets in Nebraska? Or maybe, Co maybe Colorado. Oh, or... I'm sure they have supermarkets. Or, 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 or North or South Dakota. Do you need a reality check on what year it is? Do you think people are out there getting boar and goose and having a traditional hunt? I doubt it. I don't know. I mean, I mean who wouldn't want to go hunting on Christmas? I want to be inside nice and warm with some delicious foods and presents. I'm a classic American feeding into the capitalism beast. Yeah. No, what, what would you go hunting? Or would you be able to do what you have to do after you caught something? You know what you got to do. Yeah. Got to prepare it. I know. To cook. You could do that. You could not. You're too sweet. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I mean, a butcher does it. Well, yeah. I guess. I don't like to think of that stuff. Yeah, it's, but don't eat. I just want it on my plate. Yeah, but seriously, don't. Yeah, but. Oh, by the way, don't. For all, all you people who love meat out there, don't eat a lot of organ meat unless you want gout. Oh, organ meat is very, um, it's rich. And, oh, what's the, what is the ingredient? What is it? 
Um, it's um. There's a word for the thing. The, uh, the, uh, is it a protein? Is it, is it a, uh, I feel like Luke knows. Luke says it all the time. Oh, oh it's right it's, on the tip of my tongue. It's like not keratin. No, no, not that. Um, collagen. What is it? Uh, may, gonna, maybe it's collagen. I I don't know. No, no, it's no, not. No, 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 no. There's yeah, a you're thing right, you're right. in that that, um, that kicks off gout. It's an ingredient. Oh man, this is gonna make me nuts. Can you Google it? Uh, negative. Connor, it's gonna hit me in like two hours, and I'm gonna be at work with a customer, and I'm gonna say a random word. Yeah. I'm gonna look like a weirdo. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, well, we were just excited, and yeah. we're feeling festive, right? Yeah. Don't you show your hat. You look like a rapper Santa. Yeah. I remember. I think I remember a time Where's Grandma you? had gout. Sure, she's gonna love that you just threw that out there. I don't remember uh, that, but whatever. Yeah, but you crazy man. But it wasn't in her, in her ankle or her big toe. It was in her wrist or something. I don't think she had gout in her wrist. Can yeah, you you're right. Fingertips or toes. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. It. It's gout's usually concentrated in either the ankle or the big toe. Can't you get it in a finger? I don't know. Anyway. All of this to say, we digress. We had a little split in the action because I'm a donut and thought we were recording, but okay. we, we are sure we were. All right. Okay, yeah. wait. So, so anyway. Anyway, so we're excited. Love on the Spectrum. Yep. Yeah. U.S. Season 2. Yep. Yeah. January. 19th. 2024. And tune into Netflix. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, stay classy USA and UK. Excellent. And... Bye. Bye. We bid you adieu. Oh, take your hat. Yeah. Right. Can't be that festive. Maybe tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right. Have a good one, bud. Love you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Hoping everyone has a wonderful holiday season. If you celebrate Hanukkah, I know it's over, but I hope you had a wonderful one. And um, all of the holidays, stay safe and blessed with your families. Thank you for watching our silly little show. And actually get to get to know Connor a little bit more on a, on a legitimate show. So enjoy and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thanks.